The whole idea behind the project was to have the students uh, think about the area that they live in, which is the LA Basin, and to have them learn facts about that area and try to incorporate what they learn and represent that in their artwork. So we came up with the idea of creating these abstract sculptures. Our sculpture is based on water because water is the source of all life. The main part of our sculpture is a fish, but we kind of put um, like trash on there to show how what humans are doing to affect the natural habitats of these animals. Because the LA Basin was filled with water 15 million years ago, we thought it was significant because not only are we polluting it, but it's no longer here where it used to be and where it's supposed to be. The students gained the information that they learned by doing uh, research on the internet. We also made a trip to the Page Museum and the Liberia Tar Pits. I enjoyed going and looking at the, the massive chunks of earth that they actually had to take out and extract and look at piece by piece to find little things like little seashells, mouse bones from this huge massive leg bone of a mammoth and I thought it was really cool. I think one of the highlights for the students was when one of the employees of the Natural History Museum explained a find, a recent find, which was Zed the Mammoth, which is the most complete and the largest mammoth that they've ever found. Um, what I remember most is Zed the giant mammoth that they found. And I remember how interesting it was on how they found all the fossils and all the bones. What I liked about the Page Museum was this little, there's this area where you kind of got to plunge through the tar. You got to feel how thick it was. And then we were also fortunate enough to have two guest speakers come in and speak to us. Our first guest speaker was Sophie Hunter from the Natural History Museum. And she talked to students about the geology and how old this area is and how our mountains were formed. Well, one of the most interesting things to me was that all the fires that we're having here, they're actually part of the, uh, the environmental cycle because we need them to have the, the plants reproduce and, and start over again. I really wanted to challenge them to work at a larger scale and use materials that we don't usually use. So they learned how to use power tools like jigsaws and sanders. Uh, and that just kind of, I think it empowers them. The thing I liked most about the project was painting it. Because building it was kind of frustrating and working with the team members was as well. So painting it was the funnest part about it, the most creative part. I think the students felt more accountable for their work because we had members, staff members from the Natural History Museum come to see their projects and the students had to explain what their project was about and some of the process they went through. And that just raised the expectation for the students. My entire group and I created something with our own hands and we, uh, we made something that really helped represent the LA Basin and we enjoyed doing it. It's a great group activity and we really loved the whole making of our project. I think it's just an amazing opportunity to be able to work with the Natural History Museum. They provide us with the guest speakers, they organized our field trips, and they just provide us with resources that we wouldn't be able to have in the classroom otherwise. And even just having the opportunity to display student work um, where the public can see it and really gain an understanding of what we do in class and what our students are learning, it's, it's just an invaluable experience.